Welcome to a new episode of Science in Context. I'm Ryan and this week I'm speaking to Dr. Kate Mitchell about the impact of preventative medication on HIV cases in the United States. Kate, what's the current state of HIV in the US? Hi Ryan. Uh, well, more than 30,000 people are diagnosed with HIV every year in the United States. And they've got ambitious targets to reduce the number of new HIV infections by 90% by 2030. There are a number of measures that are available to help prevent new cases of HIV in groups who are at high risk, such as men who have sex with men or MSM. Um, one of these measures is a medication called pre-exposure prophylaxis, uh, known as PrEP. And that's available as a daily tablet or in a new longer acting injectable form, which is given every two months. And what did your recent research focus on? So working with colleagues in the US, we looked at what impact long acting PrEP could have on new cases of HIV in a population of MSM in the US. And our modelling found that providing more men with injectable PrEP could potentially reduce the number of new HIV cases per year by as much as 54% by 2030. So we found that introducing injectable PrEP alongside existing tablets could help the US move closer to its ambitious targets to eliminate HIV but it's unlikely to be enough by itself to reach those targets. So what else would help the US to move closer towards these targets? A number of things, um, diagnosing HIV as early as possible, getting more people onto treatment quickly, and adhering better to their treatment. Uh, this helps to keep their viral load undetectable, which improves the health of those living with HIV, and also means that they can no longer transmit the virus to their sexual partners, further reducing new cases of HIV. Kate, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.